<laughs> I, Katie Rhines, registered dietitian, I'm so excited to be here with Tara Kemp, who is a plant-based dietetics student slash amazing person <laughs> who was assisting Dr. Neil Barnard and works for Forks Over Knives and now is getting her master's and going to be a registered dietitian as well. And I'm really excited to hear your story because I know you all have been asking me over and over again, like, Katie, what's it been like in school? Are there any jobs out there? What's your journey been like? So here we have another amazing woman. Let's hear your story. Yeah, so where exactly do you want me to start? Like why, <laughs> what, like, you know, how do I feel about going to school? Or Yeah, how do you, how did you like manage to go to school and then work for Dr. Neil Barnard and get yourself entwined, intertwined with the plant-based community? And like, yeah, so basically it was like fearless pursuit of the passion. Um, I just, the more that I learned about this, the more that it just becomes so much something that I feel driven as part of my purpose to, to share with other people. And I just relentlessly asked how I could help. And, you know, I, I got some no's. I reached out to some people who didn't, didn't want to hear from some, you know, 19 year old girl who didn't know anything yet. Um, but I was willing to learn and I did a lot of my own research and in time, you know, some people did say yes, like, sure, you know, you want to work for free? You want to come help us out? Okay. So Show us what you can just, do. So you like, wrote them letters? Or? Yeah, I sent a lot of emails <laughs> to lots of people. I asked lots of people if I could shadow them or help somehow, and mm -hmm. eventually, the, the really the first in, you know, was Rip Esselstyn, and he said yes. He said, sure, write for our blog. So I wrote That's for awesome. the Daily Beat blog with two of my friends while I was in college. We called ourselves the College Greens. That's and awesome. yeah, <laughs> and we wow. wrote to them and we talked about, you know, eating plant-based in our school cafeteria and in the dorm, you know, having only access to a microwave. There wasn't even a kitchen right. in my dorm. And Did you study um, nutrition in school? No, so I studied education and about halfway through my education degree, I realized like this is really what I want to be doing is nutrition, but my school didn't have that program and you know, I, I thought about it for a while, I went through the whole decision process and I ended up deciding to just stick out the education degree and honestly, it's really served me. Like, as much as nutrition is the, the field that I want to work in, education is so important. You know, we. What I want to do is make this information accessible and understandable for people so that they that's can take it and yeah. use it and be empowered by it. Mm -hmm. And so that's a big part of what I do is, is teaching other people about this information and empowering them. So yeah, I, I finished out that degree mm -hmm. and I worked for a few years um, in Washington DC with the Physicians Committee, which was amazing. I learned so much. I'm so grateful to the experience that I had there and all of the opportunities that it brought to me. And it also really helped me to solidify the fact that I want to go be a dietitian. Um, I really feel like my, my time there really helped me to see so profoundly the changes that that happen when people take on this lifestyle and how much it can truly change their lives. And when you see hundreds of people change their lives and experience health in a completely new way, and you've been hugged like, you know, so many times by people who are just in tears because their arthritis is gone and their diabetes is gone and wow. they, you know, their cholesterol dropped 60 points in like, you know, two months. It's just, there's That's no awesome. way that I can't not spend my life Doing, that. doing exactly so this. So, so at cool. this point, I know that you've had a really rough experience <laughs> in school, and I recognize that parts of it might be a little rough as well. But yeah. I feel so motivated, and I know it's going to be a hundred percent worth it. Great. That's so cool that you have an education degree, and that you're taking that and putting in the work to become a registered dietitian. Now, one thing that we learned: we're actually at the airport. We just were at the PFOD Plant-Based Prevention of Disease. Conference and one thing I learned today is like if you don't want to put in the five years of work to mm. become a dietitian There's so many opportunities like Tara yeah. said send those emails out say hey, how can I help? How can I be a part of this mission? Yeah, and I mean working cool at the physicians committee such... We had a finance department. We had a communications department. We had a team that put together publications, you know, like yes. whatever you do 
There are organizations that are growing. This movement needs people from every aspect. You know, what do you like to do? Whatever you like to do, you can put that towards plant-based nutrition and towards furthering this movement if you feel compelled to do so, 100%. That's so cool. Wow. So that's really, really cool to point out. Wow, thank you. So where do you like to hang out? Where can people follow you? Oh, so, I mean, I'm on Instagram. Uh, just my name at Tara Kem. Follow um, her. She's got really incredible food posts and everything. Thanks, yeah, I, I definitely, I super enjoy it. And I'm kind of on YouTube, I'm trying. Yeah. <laughs> Um, you can actually lately find me more often on the Mastering Diabetes YouTube channel. I've been doing a lot of yeah. research with them and that's been awesome. And uh, those are the two main places that, uh, they, you know, via social media that you can find me right now. And of course, if you haven't reversed your diseases yet, go watch Forks Over Knives. <laughs> 100%. Your um, yeah, and if there's anything else you'd like to add? Um, no, then... just I hope that everyone recognizes that Number one, there's so much power in food and you can have more control over your health than you realize. And number two, you can find a place of peace with food. You can find a place where you don't have to, it's not a struggle to eat healthy things. It's not, you know, you're not, it's not willpower where you're, you know, fighting right. cravings. It's, you're truly eating from a place of, I yes. want to sit down and have a bowl of mangoes and berries, or I want to sit down and have a big sweet potato and some black beans and cilantro and all, like, you know, like, there is a way to find within yourself a place of true joy with food where you're eating exactly what you want to eat and that's exactly what your body wants you to eat. So cool. And your body will heal from the inside out. I love it. Oh, I love it. Thank you so much. All right, everybody, go give her a follow. <laughs> Thumbs up, comment below what you think, and eat lots of colors and have a wonderful life. Absolutely. Bye! Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs>